hello welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are going to configure telegram uh, a messenger app which is used to send messages take audio calls or video calls just like whatsapp but the main difference is in telegram uh, we have a additional feature which is used to uh, make automated stuff which is called bots so today we are going to use that bot function to receive notifications from our unread server without using the SMTP protocol to send emails to our email address. So first of all, we need to configure the bot on our Telegram app on your mobile phone or on my mobile phone. So let's uh, see how to do that first. Now, first of all, what we need to do is we need to go to the Telegram app on your smartphone. So first of all, you need to install it if you haven't installed it yet. So I have already installed it. I'm going to open Telegram. And inside telegram you need to search for bot father so bot father is a bot which we can use to create new bots uh, like the telegram bot that we are going to create so that we can get the notifications from our android server very easily so search for bot father by clicking the search icon so as you can see the first one is our uh, bot father a bot which we can use to create a uh, create any other bots that we want so click on it so inside that you need to click start or restart so let's start it again uh, normally the command will be slash start so you will get a list like this so within the list you can see that you can uh, create new bots uh, see your uh, bots that you have already created and edit them as well so as we are going to create a new bot we need to uh, click the messages part and type slash new bot so select it so they're asking uh, what is the name that we're going to give for the new bot so we'll give the name uh, as unread uh, say Unread underscore not so now they are asking us to give a username for the uh, bot that we just created so normally the username should contain bot at the end of the name so let's give something like uh, kp bot so let's see whether we can apply this so they are saying that the username is already taken and let's use let's say unread kp underscore bot so as you can see now we uh, I, uh, they are con uh, congratulating us so the username was accepted and here you should be able to see so this one is our uh, API access code so that we can use to access uh, you, we can use this uh, code to access our uh, telegram uh, notifications uh, from our Android server so you need to copy this uh, uh, API from your phone uh, to your PC so that we can apply this uh, to the settings uh, when we are going to configure the telegram bot uh, notifications option inside our Android server so somehow you need to copy this one after copying now let's see how we can uh, configure the rest on our unread server now as you just saw we configured the bot uh, for our unread server so we named it as unread underscore not so after creating the bot you just saw that we received the api token so you need to copy that api token uh, to a place where you can access it easily from your desktop uh, so that we can copy that uh, token and paste it onto our, onto our android server so i have already done that so this is the token which i got uh, from my uh, bot so now what we need to do is we need to go to settings on our android server inside settings you need to select notification settings so if you scroll down you should be able to see something called telegram so you need to enable this and for the bot access token you need to uh, paste the token that you just received so after pasting, uh, pasting that token 
uh, you can uh, set the notification title and the message so in my case i will select event and subject for the notification title and timestamp importance and content for my message so after selecting those click apply and if you scroll down again you should be able to see that it's applied and it's enabled it should be working so you can test this and verify whether it, the bot is working or not so let's see how to do that and let's see uh, whether the bot is working or not now let's get into the telegram app to check whether the telegram uh, bot function is working or not so let's open telegram so inside telegram you need to go back to the place where you uh, created the bot so which is a bot father so inside that you should be able to see the congratulations message for your uh, bot function and click on t.me uh, slash unread kp underscore bot or whatever the name you gave so select that one and here as you can see we are taken directly into the uh, bot that we created click start or restart now uh, i'm going to click test button on my uh, unread server if the test message just uh, does not uh, receive that means uh, you haven't clicked uh, apply or done on your server yet first click apply or done and then afterwards go back uh, to the uh, settings notifications page and click test button again so i'm going to click test now so as you can see the test message is received and the bot function is working fine now as you just saw uh, the bot is working fine and uh, we received the test message from our server so for our server to uh, send messages or send notifications to our uh, new telegram bot you need to scroll up again and here you should be able to see the types of uh, notifications that can be received uh, to our uh, telegram uh, bot or the email uh, smtp function uh, options so here if we need to receive the notifications to our telegram uh, bot you need to select the agent uh, option so i need to receive all these to my uh, telegram uh, bot so select everything and click apply now you should be able to receive everything uh, which are under these uh, options to your telegram bot uh, very easily so and also you can uh, see these options as well uh, so in my case i have selected array status notification to send every two hours so you should be able to see that if you have set it uh, the way that you want so just like that uh, it's very easy and i hope this uh, video was a helpful video to you and thank you guys for watching and also subscribe my channel and see you guys next time bye